It's when you discover that the word hacker is the same, both singularly and plurally, that you realise the ceremonial dance that has become synonymous with the All Blacks may not be as simple as you think. Firstly, there are many different types of hacker, only some of which are war cries or dances. They're a hacker to welcome guests, to acknowledge achievements, as well as for funerals. Traditionally, Peru Peru or war hacker would perform before battle by warriors who bore arms and very little clothes and are characterized by jumping and tucking the legs under the body. But most hackers seen today are actually hacker taparahi, hacker without weapons. The most well-known hacker, the Karmate, popularized by the All Blacks, was composed by a Maori chief after escaping his enemies and is actually a celebration of the triumph of life over death. But despite the popular link, hacker have never been exclusive to rugby union. In fact, their first appearance in sport was performed by the New Zealand natives in 1888 whilst on tour playing games under no official rugby or football authority. Since then, hacker have been performed before sports as diverse as lawn bowls and roller derbies, both well worth a watch. If the hacker is not performed in total unison, it's considered a bad omen for the battle, which may be one reason that in 1987, Buck Shelford and Hicker Reed got hold of the Karmate to ensure that it was performed with both precision and intensity, which had been somewhat lacking in earlier years. And to complete the makeover in 2005, a completely new hacker titled Kappa Opango was composed specifically for the All Blacks, focusing on their famous attire, crest, and the emotions of the game. The new hacker has been described as the little brother or friend to the famous Carmate, but has drawn criticism for its violent throat-slitting finale. Is it rude to respond to the hacker? Well, with hacker being as varied as they are, it's in the hands of the receiver. How might your response differ to somebody either trying to shake your hand, tell you a story, or psych you out? England, I think have only won one Six Nations in the last 12 years. Stuart Lancaster and Chris Robshaw have made some changes, I think, and it's obvious from those who are outside of England looking in that there's a new mentality there.